Hi guys, Jamie here for Bird Attack Records. I am here with Aaron from Of Mice and Men. Aaron, welcome. Thank welcome you. Welcome to Yarra On Air. Yeah, I love it so far. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. good. I excellent. feel refreshed. Good. I got a good night's sleep. Okay, so. excellent. All good. And uh, you're playing tonight? We yeah, are in Paracon stage. Yep. You looking forward to it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But now I have to wait, and that's like the worst part. Yeah. Is having you, to wait to play. You've not play for like ten hours. <laughs> nope. <laughs> are you gonna check out some bands? Ah, uh, I'm. I'm hoping to. Yeah. Is there anyone in particular you want to see today? Um. I mean. Every time I die. Oh yeah. Dillinger I, I, have to, I have to look at a schedule though. I have to try and figure out when we have stuff going on, and then Dillinger make Escape that determination. Plan? Oh yeah. One of their last shows as well. Um, and you are, you're now the lead vocalist of Of My Some Men after Austin sadly had to leave. Yep. Um, how have you found taking on lead vocal duties? It's quite, it's quite early in the uh, Yeah, in the um, so far it's been awesome. Um, you know, I was already doing about half the vocals live, yep. so it, when, it, you know, when it came time for us deciding that we wanted to continue the band, uh, when we were figuring out how to play the songs, it was, um, I think the easiest solution was for me to kind of just do the vocals where I wasn't, and then now Alan has also stepped up to do a lot of the background stuff too, yeah. so it's been awesome so far. Has it been reworking quite a few of the songs to kind of fit in, or is it...? No, actually we haven't really had to rework anything. It's That's just cool. been It's just been kind of inputting the vocals um, where I used to play and not scream, now I play and scream, so... Yeah. Have you found it difficult to uh, kind of relearn your parts? Because sometimes I'll write a song and then I'll, I'll think I can't sing and play that. It's too hard. I mean, not not so far. No, not so far. And I think, you know, because a lot of these songs are older and the newer songs we kind of wrote that were more kind of catered to this, I think yeah. a lot of the bass is just muscle memory now. Yeah, yeah. And so I can just kind of focus on the vocals and just my hands kind of just do their thing. I think you're definitely a better <laughs> musician than me as well. So. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm probably older. You don't have to say it. <laughs> I'm probably just I'm older and have had more practice. I don't know. I'm pretty old. I just look young. How old are you? I'm 28. Oh, okay, we're the same age. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Boom. Damn, I just that look, backfired. I do look quite young. It's my ginger skin. It is. I just stay out of the sun. Yeah, I've got I've got mileage. These bags are packed <laughs> and ready to go. It's a lot of living. Oh, yeah. A lot of living. <laughs> uh, so um, now that you are kind of, now that Austin's had to step down from the band, obviously it was really sad that he had to... Um, you know, take the time off because of his illness. Is it kind of helped um, everyone kind of relax and have some stability in the band? Because obviously for Austin, he doesn't have to, to worry about having to play shows anymore. He can get the treatment he needs. And for you guys, you you know what's coming now. Yeah, I, I think for, for us, we, while that was arguably one of the saddest days of my life when yeah. he told us that he couldn't do this anymore, a, a part of that was, I guess, relief because you know he had always put his body in it and at times his life on the line to do this like some of these shows almost had killed him before yeah and so i think that decision while it was really hard to make it was it was easier to support than it was to accept i guess because yeah. you know it is the best thing for his life that he goes and he gets treatment and yeah, then because it, this is a hard lifestyle for a healthy person and he literally he gave it his all to the point where it almost killed him. So, yeah. you know, when you talk about someone rocking it till the wheels fall off, he he, he did that. So, yeah. I saw the statement he released when he announced he was leaving. It was yeah. like heart wrenching. You know, oh yeah, it must be so hard. But absolutely, yeah. Hopefully, it'll be good for uh, for everyone involved. Yeah. So, you guys have, have released some new tracks recently. You've been yeah, dropping yeah. them about. Is this uh, running up to a new album, or are you just kind of putting the feelers out there? At the um, we are we are working on a new album. We haven't begun um, recording it yet but yeah. Um, yeah you know like we always work on music we work on music in the back lounge of our bus yeah. or, which is actually the front lounge of our bus on this bus but um, yeah we were just working on some tunes yesterday um, especially at some of these festivals where we don't play till late yeah. a lot of the day um, we just spend kind of working on music and hanging out together so we're always working on new stuff we've already got easily over an album's worth of material um, and I think once we get home, I think we have like maybe eight or nine days left out here, then we're gonna get home and literally really get to work on it. But yeah. there's no um, release date yet, and we might release another track or two. Yeah. We don't know, but we just like making music and releasing it. So, Did you kind of want to put something out before a new album to see kind of what the reaction was with a new setup? And yeah, you know, for Unbreakable, that, that in a big way was, I think for us to not only kind of get that sentiment about how we were feeling out there, but also I think that song kind of showcases, or we hoped that that song would kind of showcase to our fans that we were still able to perform the old material, because yeah. in a ways it is a lot of screaming, a lot of singing, a lot yeah, of all yeah. of that. 
Um, but the fans really loved it, and it just kind of took off. So nice. then we released uh, Back to Me after that, and that song's been doing awesome um, yeah. at radio and amongst the fans. So it's all yeah. around, all around good vibes. I've definitely seen people like really pleasantly surprised that things are still at such a high quality. Yeah, well. and that's and that's that's all we really wanted, you know. Like when we decided to continue this, that was the that was the big priority. Was we weren't going to carry this on for the name or for the brand or for the size of the band like yeah. it the the performances had to be of the same caliber if not better so we've all really put in a lot of work to ensure that were you nervous by it um i was nervous after the, i was nervous before the first show and i think i think as soon as the first song started all that went away and it, and it just felt right and we were all just like it didn't go from nervous anymore. It went from nervous to excitement. Cool. Yeah. That's always good to hear. Well, I'm sure your set will be awesome. Uh, you on just before me first, the Gimme 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 oh, yeah. tonight, so it'll be awesome. It'll be like really great for you guys, and then just a bit of a party afterwards. I love for it. Me first, so. I love it. Yeah, we it'll played really we played cool. right before them yesterday too. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, good? at Southside Festival. It was awesome. Yeah. Nice. And, and we played we played against we played at the same time as D Antword and Alt J, and right. we and we had a tent full of. Rockers and metalheads that, yeah. that literally can I cuss on this thing? Yeah, they went ape shit. Nice ape shit. That's 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 my two that's swear a words. Really in, <laughs> that's a really interesting clash. Yeah, Elf Mice meant Alt J and yeah. Dion and so I think anybody that was into aggressive or heavy music um, yeah. came to our tent and just we all lost our minds in there. It was awesome. Awesome. See, so, I'm sure it'll be the same tonight. I hope yeah. so. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'll have a great set. Looking forward to Excellent. it. Excellent. Good luck, Anna. Thanks for well, being thank here. Thank you so much. Cool. Thanks. Thank you, and thank you guys for watching. Yeah.